guys and gals. We're here again for another video in this series of fundamental training techniques. Today we're talking about something super important if you want to avoid injuries and stay on that long and enjoyable road of perfecting your craft of jump rope. So far we've done hand positioning and how to achieve optimal speed by using your hands the right way. We've also looked at how to size your jump rope correctly and the basic side swing technique too. This video is going to look at your jumping technique and your foot positioning. Very important. Quick heads up. As I recorded this video, it just so happened to be, <clears throat> I don't know, the windiest f***ing day of all time. Oh, and I forgot to mention the school kids who decided to turn up and run around. I like videos! Um, <laughs> yeah, it was just a couple distractions here and there, but there's still some great um, info here. Anywhere that the sound is compromised due to the surrounding noise and distractions, I've popped in some subtitles to help you out, so it's all good. All the info comes across in the end. Um, I think that's it. Let's crack into it. Hello ladies and gents, I'm back again. You're gonna have to bear with me. It's a very, very windy day here in London. Um, I also happen to have a bunch of school kids for company <laughs> while I'm doing this video, but we'll do what we can. Um, so, the feet. We recently discussed how important it is for your hands to be used correctly while you're jump roping, but the feet, are probably equally if not more important than that and the reason for this is if you're not jumping with the correct technique if your feet are not in the correct positions the constant repetitive nature of this of this training that constant bouncing can have um, adverse effects it can cause you to strain certain muscles compromise certain joints namely ankles knees and because that force is traveling up through the body with each jump you can affect the pelvic area as well so it's very important to be conscious of how of how we're jumping and make sure we're jumping with the correct technique i'm going to go through a few things firstly this is pretty common knowledge you want to be on the balls of your feet bouncing on the ball of your feet allows your ankle to act as a shock absorber so it alleviates some of that that constant pressure that's coming up from the ground up through the body if you're landing let's say this is your heel and obviously this is your, these are your toes if you're constantly bouncing flat-footed that pressure is going up through your leg and it's just not it's just not good at all you don't get an efficient bounce either so balls of the feet number one first and foremost pretty common knowledge um, if you don't know that and you've been and you've been jumping on your heels please stop okay not cool we want to jump on the, the balls of our foot, feet now that we've got the um, essential out of the way I want to discuss something that's not not often talked about I'll put it this way when we're jumping okay we want to imagine a line, a line coming down from the middle of our heads right down through to the floor and with that line we want to keep our weight distributed evenly either side so whether you're doing a, a, a regular single under double under which requires you to stay with your feet together when doing these sorts of techniques it's much easier to keep your weight balanced evenly on both feet but it gets trickier when you start to do techniques like the boxer step when you're shifting your weight from side to side if we're hopping if we're doing one feet one foot exercises uh, balance it out I mean you might do you might do 10 on your right foot do 10 on your left the key is balance if your weight is distributed more dominantly <coughs> more dominantly to one side than the other long term you might have nasty um, pelvic injuries and I can I can attest to this I had this um, 
after a year, after a year, my first year of training, I went to see the physio and he said that one side, the muscles on one side are more developed than the other and as such they're pulling my pelvis up just a little bit. So I, I had to take a look at my training and say, what is it that I'm doing? And ass assessing myself, really taking time to look at how I was jumping, I realized that my weight was predominantly shifted to one of my right foot uh, and I didn't even notice. And this could be this could be as subtle as your right foot being slightly ahead of your left left foot. It doesn't have to be that your whole body is tilted to one side. You could have your right foot slightly ahead with each jump, and that takes the force of, of the jumps. So really look at how you're jumping. I'm constantly preaching this to anyone who trains with me. Balance. You do it on the right, do it on the left. It's harder because most people have one hand that's far more dominant than the other so you have to be patient with yourself and train on this but in the long run you'll be a more well-rounded athlete. When we're jumping try to be mindful of the force, the force you're applying through the balls of your feet. Um, it's quite subtle but you have to you have to make sure you're applying force with each bounce through the balls of both feet you know as you, as you jump you you'll feel this you'll feel that you slightly tense up your feet with each with each, with each bounce okay and you want to make sure that you're doing that on both feet and you're not just letting your dominant foot um, take the front Okay, thanks for watching. You've made it to the end of the video. Drop me a line down below to let me know how you found these pointers, how you found these tips. If there was anything that is completely new to you, let me know. Or if there's anything that I didn't mention, feel free to drop it down below because you know the wider jump rope community might wanna hear it. Thanks again and well done for making it this far. There was a lot going on, a lot of noise so it proves your focus. We're gonna shoot into some outtakes now in which you're gonna see my camera blowing around a bunch. You're gonna see school kids running riot. Uh, pretty much cause that's what I had to deal with on the day and we're in this together. So you have to deal with it too. We're on this journey of progression for better or worse through good times and bad. So feel my pain enjoy it. You don't have to enjoy it. But <sighs> here are the outtakes. Oh. Why would they, why would they, why would they use this whole pitch? Oh my god, you've got to be kidding me. I like videos! <laughs> day in London. Nearly took my camera away. Um, you know, you want to keep the, we just have to remember to keep <laughs> so We're gonna tough through it. It's Monday morning too. I've been up a couple hours recording, uh, sorry, editing other videos. But don't worry, I had some coffee so, so it'll kick in soon I'm sure. I'll give it about, give it about 10-15 minutes. Anyway, Let's try not to get sidetracked, let's focus. Feet, it's important to have the feet in the right. No, you don't. Okay, let's sort out this tripod. Awesome. We can do it, we can do it. Come on, come on, come on, buddy. I know, I'm tired too. 